Yeah, hi, I'm Matt Jordan from Jordan Fabrics here in Grants Pass, and I haven't been on camera for a while, so I wanted to show you what I was up to, or have been up to. You can see here I got in a beautiful group of Robert Kaufman Holiday Flourish fabrics. This is one of the color combinations that I'm doing this year, and it is one that I've really enjoyed the past few years. It's the black with the silver with the red, just outstanding looking prints. Really fun to work with, really enjoyable to cut because the end result is going to be really something. Um, got it kind of laid out here. This is my work table, and I've been cutting things today, what I call rough cutting, where I cut things to size, which are going to be ironed, and then precision cut to size. Um, and I want to show you, if you'll come over this way, earlier today, these are going to be the log cabin table runners, and there's about a hundred here, I think. This is my patchwork here, so you can see, you know, I love doing light and dark sides. That's just what I enjoy doing, and I've got reds and blacks, and of course, cream prints, beautiful uh, silver metallic cream prints. Look, at that's nice, and look at this little one here. So cool. So that's in the Holiday Flourish line. I'm going to use this as the borders and what I call the end caps around the table runner. Very cool print. I don't remember them doing a small one like this in years past. They run this line every year. Uh, and, and this is something new. I really like the, that little design. And I'm doing something different on the backs. So I'm, I'm going to carefully cut these, but I love that stripe. It is so cool. Look at the detail in this. Kaufman is, is the one company that, I mean, there's other companies that do beautiful metallics, but Kaufman does them, I think, like no one else. They're printed in Japan, you can see here. Beautiful prints. And the other thing I was working on today, in the same line, I, I, I like to do the quilts. I, I like that log cabin 12 block. So down here, if you'll follow me down here, this is something like what the light side is going to look like. A block and a block. I'll do an L out of this in that log cabin and a small little L. And I decided to run my center square red, surrounded by a black L, and then all up the line. That's the light side, obviously. And that's going to be a block and another block on the, on the biggest ones. But that's what I've been up to here at Jordan's. A lot of cutting, a lot of fun. And thank you for watching today. And when I get these done, and my wife sews one, I'll show you how it came out. I'm uh, going to be opening a new retail shop. Uh, we do all our shipping out of the retail shop as well as sell things. And it's going to be in a twice as big a building. And the second building over here, which is on the same property. And um, I would like to take you down there and show that building to you. So let's take a trip down there. We have a little better view from here. And I'd like to show you my retail shop is over in this building here with an insurance company in the middle and then our manufacturing department on the end. Well, we are moving that retail shop over to this other building on the same property. And we're going to have about two thirds of this building for our retail and shipping now. Uh, we're very happy about this. And I'd like to take you and show you a little bit of the construction that's going on in this building right now. We have arrived at the shop that we are building out. You can see a very large blue dumpster here in which they're putting all the drywall and things that they had to take out. It's basically completely full. And so let's walk over to the door here and open it up and see what's going on inside. So the gentlemen that are doing this construction job are making great progress. This was actually three separate shops, three separate businesses. So they had to take down two walls. We're going to put in all new lighting. We're going to put in all new flooring. And I'm just really looking forward to getting in here and stretching our business out so that we can better serve our customers. It's the 13th of July, and I was talking to the landlord, and he thinks they'll be done with this building in about another six weeks. They're going to put in new windows, more efficient windows, drywall, paint. We're going to put in a beautiful laminate flooring. 
move all of our wood cabinets over here and everything, of course, that's in the retail shop now comes over here. A lot of space here. This is about 3,400 square feet, and I think my current shop is about 1,500 feet, so it's over twice as big. Very happy about that. Great location on 6th Street here in Grants Pass. Uh, it's a one-way street coming down, and you will see the shop directly as you're coming towards it. I'm very happy about that also. It's really cool what the crew's been doing in here. You can see they're pulling out sinks from certain places that we don't want sinks anymore, tools. It's amazing what uh, we get done here in America when we uh, have skilled labor. All the tools, ladders, everything they need, and they're really doing a hell of a job in here. The building is still in pretty rough condition. Uh, and I will continue to give you some updates as we go on. Uh, it's looking really good though. It's looking, I can see this in my mind and it's looking like it's really going to be something. For anyone who doesn't know, our shop is located here in Grants Pass, Oregon, which is along Interstate 5 from Mexico, California, Oregon, and Washington. Interstate 5 runs all the way to Canada. If you're ever in our area, please feel free to stop. Donna and I are around the shop most of the time and we'd love to see you. I got the holiday flourish sets cut and I had my wife sew up the quilt and the table runner. I've got uh, the quilt here which I think came out spectacularly. The outside border is the poinsettia which I like. I like to have a large scale print as a larger border. I really like that. This is the little gray background in here, beautiful little print. And I chose this very unique, I think, Christmas style print with, with the beautiful silver in it. I'm gonna show you this. It's just, it's absolutely magnificent. And I think, I'll give you a big look at the quilt here. Log cabin, barn raising pattern. This is 24 blocks. And we package these sets in 12 blocks. And this came out really cool. The backing, I just chose gray background with a red poinsettia. Same print as the border, just the light background. like that very much. So this has 24 blocks. This is one block here. And I'll show you. Let me see where I can set this so it's easy to see for you. Here's one block right here. And just the way you set the blocks determines the pattern. You can set the log cabin block in many different patterns. Many different patterns. This just, just happens to be one I like, and I, I tend to repeat it a lot. Um, the other thing I did with those fabrics that I showed you is make that runner. And so this is the log cabin table runner. Let me get it off there because it's probably hard to see. But this is the log cabin table runner, of course. Four blocks. Border out of that print. I really like. The backing, I was telling you about the stripe I was going to use because I really like the print. This is the print. And you can see how it came out. It's a magnificent back. Really cool. Really a lot of detail. That's that. And that's the package for the table runner right there. Four blocks. The backing the long borders, and what we call the end caps, which is these pieces here. So I'm really pleased with the way this holiday flourish from Robert Kaufman came out this year. They've got a, that beautiful green combination with the reds and the very traditional Christmas. And the last few years, the black with the scarlet and the light gray and silver has been very popular. And uh, I've been using it a lot, and I really enjoy working with it. Thank you for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed the little updates around the shop here. And I'll see you again next time.